is stop bothering to go to the synagogue, to the temple, to the church, because they have befooled you enough. Stop asking these people, the rabbis, the monks, the priests, because all that they know, they have been giving those consolations for thousands of years, and all their consolations have proved important. You have to turn from politicians, from religious people, to the scientist. The whole humanity has to focus on science if it wants to get rid of misery. And my religion I call the science of the inner soul. It is not religion. It is exactly a science. Just as the science functions in the objective world, this science functions in the subjective world. Remember, the outer science can help immensely to reduce your suffering and misery to almost 90 percent. But once your 90 percent suffering and miseries, which are physical, biological, which science can very easily remove, then the 10 percent misery will be for the first time clear to you. Right now it is last in the mass of this 90 percent misery. Then you will be able to see that all that misery was nothing compared to this 10 percent. This 10 percent is the real anguish, and that can be transformed only through inward movement. Call it meditation, awareness, watchfulness. But that 10 percent misery is of tremendous weight. The 90 percent is nothing, it is just hunger, food you need, shelter you need, employment you need. All these things can be tackled by science. Remove the priest completely. He has no function for the future. He has already done enough mischief. Focus on science and then immediately you will see a new dimension arising in you of which you were not aware. It was there, but a hungry man, how can he think of whether life has meaning or not. A hungry man cannot think whether the flower is beautiful or not. He is hungry. You cannot talk about music and poetry and painting to him. That will be humiliating him. It will be just insult, outright insult. But once these problems disappear, then he will start for the first time to inquire about real existential questions. 
which can be answered only by a subjective science. So there is no future for religion. There is future for an objective science to deal with objective matters and a subjective science to deal with your inward matters. One will take care of your physiology, biology. The other will take care of psychology and your ultimate center the soul.